it will be the law you know. the famous names of Street Fighter characters. I have not See, there's played over 120 Street Fighters. There's All right. not. There's no there way. is over 120 <laughs> Street Fighters. Well, okay. Name three of your favorite. Ryu, M. Bison, and uh, T-Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're canceled. You're done. <laughs> CJ, what about you? Um, I like uh, I like the Ninja Girl. Uh, is that her Ibuki? name? I don't know her name. That's her. Okay. <laughs> I was I, like, Ninja I, Girl. Okay. I, I like, like that name. I like Ryu and I like T Hawk. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> hey, but you liking T Hawk is fine. No, I, I like Dulcim too. Uh, no, I like the guy with the, the sun. one who like sounds the like Len Tilson. Who's Sonic Boom Boom Guy? Boom. Sonic Boom. That's Guile. We'll talk about Guile today. Exactly. That's his opening sound. Uh, that's Track that's his that's his theme song. Yeah. He is he is the American. I like that. Um. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about else. Kyle. I did want to tell you though, CJ, because we're not going to talk about T T no! later. But he he's not integral to the he's, plot. He's not a core plot character. But I will say, so there were a bunch of ladies who were kidnapped and brainwashed, right? Okay. Oh my god! And they made one of them. They they were ladies from all over the world, right? Yes. Yeah, sure. And one of them was a Native American lady, uh -huh. and they were okay. supposed to have. T-Hawk was supposed to be trying to save her. That was supposed to be his thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, one of the other ladies over the course of the games became a more prominent character. So he is trying to save that one. So he does just kind of come in with the brainwashed Native American lady. He's like, if you could excuse me, I'm trying to save the white woman over there. Get, I'm trying oh to my get God. myself a white wife. Same though. <laughs> So this happens in the game. <laughs> no, I mean not exactly, in, but I will say in fact because this is Japanese. <laughs> this is a Japanese company. Right? Uh -huh. So like, like that, like this lady standing little, in the corner when he's trying to fight the villain, or yeah, it's, it's like, a little. Oh, save me! It's a Hello. <laughs> she's got like a feather, like Pocahontas. <laughs> oh, save me! Uh, I'm looking for a white woman. Uh, it's a little oh more understandable God. from Japanese people. I don't expect Japanese people to like get um, like American Indian culture. Uh -huh. That's not like their job to do. In the same way that like Wait, so I don't know feudal Japanese was, culture. I just know that a lot of animes take I, like, place so, there. So, is cool. so this woman we're talking about is Asian but white, or uh, she no, was she's made, just a white lady. She was made oh. by a Asian. Oh. She is white. Uh -huh. Oh, just like Fran. I see. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Fran's not gonna like that show. Oh, I'm gonna geez. have to cut that, that No, one. no, that's what we intro oh, on. No. Fran, I apologize be on behalf of these these uh, goobers here. Speaking of Fran, as Fran would say, welcome to the lore you know, a podcast where several friends talk about the lore of your favorite media, like Street Fighter. For uh would for would you call this a round two for Street Fighter? Wow. Ding, Solid ding, B ding. minus, CJ. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That is what we should all strive for as a culture, because I still think that's raising the bar. That's pretty good. B we, minus uh, isn't that bad of a grade. Uh, yeah, no, it's, yeah, exactly. It's still a passing, not, and it's still yeah. respectable. Not only is he passing, but his father is still wicked willing to look him in the eyes. Yeah, just barely, though. <laughs> if I tell him about this podcast, though, he will no longer. I thought this he is, knew. This is my darkest, most shameful family secret. <laughs> Coming from a bastard child uh -huh. that says speaks volumes. Yeah, and and speaking of uh, our families, who we are, that guy is CJ. I'm Ethan, and we have our returning guest, 
Slightly. slightly. Oh, I thought you were going to yeah, introduce me. Yeah, I know me. I was. But then you yes, started like, to do this, and I was like, I don't know if she's prepping. I, that's for the correct <laughs> camera, like, not for you. Okay. <laughs> By the way, if you're just listening to this on an audio platform, this is in a video if you look on YouTube, but mm -hmm. you can listen on any podcasting but, platform. Listen to it in the car when you go see your family. You that's true. I mean, also, we maybe cut this because it was a little bit little bit choppy, but, you, you know. You think this is choppy compared to the other <laughs> stuff we do? <laughs> this is... This is we're going. Like, this is our B minus <laughs> right this here. This is genuine B minus. Yes. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> I have been thinking about getting a little extra money. Okay. Because I don't have as much as I'd like. Uh -huh. So I've been thinking about getting into professional street fighting, and by professional I mean oh. just sort of not, you know not my plan. Okay. Fighting in the streets. fighting in the streets and hoping people <laughs> pay me for that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, lucky for you, CJ, we are going to be talking about a lot more Street Fighters today and a lot of different career paths of Street Fighter, like Homeless Street Fighter. Okay, homeless. not a great start. Okay. Yoga Master. Wow. That's the same thing. Yoga Masters <laughs> are Street Fighters. And Dictator. Wow. Oh, what? Siley. What? You do yoga, right? What? Sometimes, you yes. You practice yoga? <laughs> Sometimes, so yes. So you know that if you have complete control over your body via yoga, you can not only uh, stretch your body around. No, it doesn't work like and that. And create flames with your mouth. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. You can crouch in the corner and kick forever and nobody can get past you. And it's <laughs> so cheap. Is this like a Scientology <laughs> thing where it's like they don't tell you about the higher levels of yoga until you get to the higher levels of yoga because they don't like that knowledge might <laughs> no, scare no, you, you away. You have to be a part of the secret community of yoga people to know that. Ha -ha. What I mean, level yoga fighter are you? What belt? I assume they have belts. <laughs> no, that's karate, not yoga. Oh yeah, my so God. Yoga, Who has belts in yoga? yoga it, it is what, what your turban is like. I was going to say it's a different colored nipple ring. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what kind of yoga you no, okay. are in CK. We are not talking about yoga very much <laughs> today. <laughs> it sounds like we are. I don't uh, know. No, instead, we are going to be talking about my favorite character from the Street Fighter series. Uh, one Mr. Bison. Is that actually what his name is? Is no. that what oh, okay. M stands for? No. There's, there's many mysteries. Magnificent to them? Mystery Bison? Okay. Magnanimous? I, uh... We're gonna get into Mega his bison. malicious. I like I like all of this. We're gonna get into his name in just a second, but I do just want to set the groundwork for who M Bison is. Mega Man before Bison. You, before you get too far, was he your favorite character before you looked him up, or is he now your favorite character uh, that you've looked him up? Good so question, CJ. he was one of my favorite fighters. Uh, he has a lot in common with Raiden from Mortal Kombat, like technique wise, you know. Oh. Um, oh. So last week we talked about Ryu, mm -hmm. and he is arguably the main protagonist of the Street weeks ago, Fighter series. From their perspective, but <laughs> two weeks ago, yeah. Uh, M. Bison is the main antagonist of the Street Fighter mm -hmm. series. Right. Yeah. And not the demon man who kills people. <laughs> not the, not the demon, demon. Which is not weird. The, not the demon man who explodes people's souls. So like, he didn't become to be M. Bison. He's a totally different dude. I didn't know. Yeah. Akuma <laughs> okay. is not M. Bison. All right. Okay. That's Akuma is a different Akuma. unrelated okay. yeah. demon Good man. Good to know. No. Not mixing them two together. M. Yes. Like. A lot of characters have ties to Ryu because he's the main character of the series and such, right? So, like, they come in through that. Mm -hmm. I would say over half of the cast is there specifically because they are either pro or anti-bison. Yeah, well, the, I mean... That makes sense, so you have two teams. Right, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fighter game, so they need to. there needs to be a reason that they are street fighting. They are all street hmm. fighting because M. Bison is is the epitome of cartoon villain, and it's really, really good. I'm imagining a really buff dude here. He's yeah. so buff? <laughs> like, really, really buff. So, I, okay, I haven't seen yep, yeah, his yeah, yeah. picture. Like I we'll, said, I've we'll not go played, over, played the last, games. Last week, I didn't talk about what Ryu looks like, but if you imagined any kind of generic martial artist... Martial, martial artist? Martial artist. Last we feel you. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's no, a, that's, la- good. that's good. Last week I, I didn't talk about how Ryu looks, but if you imagine any kind of generic martial artist, like you got it, you were close enough. Yeah. No, but, but I did Google his picture, and he's really buff for a martial arts person. I mean, they like, are really all very buff. buff. Like yes. he has like uh-huh. this. I mean, too many muscles on him for calling him the, a martial uh, artist, not a boxer. Street Fighter was super popular in like. <laughs> The 90s age of everybody was buff then. Yeah. In Japanese anime, yes, <laughs> and in American cartoons. Have and you wait, seen yes, E-Man? That's, that's true. Yes. Um, Have you seen the Thundercats? Wait, but so is JoJo. Yeah, exactly. Yes, but well, it's, wasn't it? Silly. Made? We'll we'll talk about JoJo later. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. All and, right. And all right. It all right. Rules, by the way. <laughs> Having big buff guys and skinny women with huge baps is awesome. <laughs> It all rules. Oh my god! Or having okay. big thunder thighs that can crush your head like a watermelon. <gasps> or both. <laughs> Good. Oh my god! All right, all right, okay. okay moving so I, on. I need moving you on. all to be able to see M Bison in your mind. Uh huh. Okay. So I want you to imagine those like World War II officer outfits. You know, like Japanese German officers, like all of those, right? <laughs> the bad uh-huh. guy. Ones. The bad guy the bad ones. Guy ones. Right. Okay. But imagine that it was bright red, mm-hmm. right? Wow. And Marvel. fucking skin tight over the most ripped <laughs> He-Man dude. Oh, you so know. it is like a JoJo thing. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Okay, I was imagining uh, a really buff you know how, JoJo yeah. character. You know how when you wear a suit, it shows all of the curves <laughs> of your musculature? Does he, does he yeah. get a hat or a huh? cap? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, got, a he's cap. got He's got the officer's hat. Okay. Uh, his eyes have no pupils. Wow, and so he's a white. demon. His, like, his big thing is that he smiles like so wide you can see his gums way too much. Uh. Oh my God. Wait, really? I yeah. I, I no, that's like, not a real thing. I do yeah, not that like that. I want to see his picture right now. All right, here. <laughs> I'm going to throw it to you guys here, because as we were saying earlier, a game? M. Bison is kind of a weird name, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, like I uh, said. We already I, had like eight guesses. Probably, we still didn't get it. <laughs> I well, probably <clears> think <throat> that Marvel. my, my no, first fuck, guess no, was no, no. Capcom. I okay. thought it resonated with we're, we're Mike gonna, Tyson. What? <laughs> Is it Mike Tyson Bison? <laughs> like, oh my, Mike would, Bison? Mike Bison? So, <laughs> CG. <laughs> well, he, his persona does. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, bring it CJ, in. CJ, yeah. I would like you to uh, to open the drive quick to this, this episode, mm-hmm. and you will see uh, in the Street Fighter 2 game, they had an American boxer as one of their characters, and he looked like that. Like Mike Tyson? <laughs> pretty, Mike Bison? pretty, like, un- problematically like Mike oh. Tyson. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, okay. So wait, he was Mike Tyson. He is and Mike Tyson. This, he's Mike Bison? He's that Mike was Bison. real? Oh my this god. character's name <laughs> is Mike Bison. Oh my god. Wait, I now, was right! No, 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 so... Hey. That is that character's name, right? Okay. He's he is an American boxer. He works for an international like villain and yeah. uh, crazy dictator guy. It's a regular company. We use yeah, that. a dictator. No, he, he works for Vega. Okay. Oh. Wait, isn't Vega like a weird sex pervert? <laughs> uh, what? What? You're getting a little ahead of me. Oh, guys, okay, sorry. <laughs> so when. The game came to the states, uh-huh. and they had to uh, Ameri- up. The, yeah. They had to Americanize it. They were worried that Mike Tyson would sue their asses. Yeah, <laughs> which he did do he for did? the box out. Oh. He, huh, that was Nintendo. Well, because it was Mike Tyson's box out, and then they ported it to a new thing. And wow. then Mike Tyson was like, "Oh, well, then you're gonna pay me money." And they're like, I'm, "No, I'm, we're not. We're just porting a game." And then he I'm was loving like, this gossip. Oh, well, okay. then. We're not putting you in the game. I don't know. Fuck yeah, it. And yeah. they just didn't. Jeez. So for the for Capcom, they were like, we can't have our American boxer who looks exactly like Mike Tyson be named Mike Bison. Oh my because- God. <laughs> and they also Michael Bison. <laughs> Michael Bison. <laughs> they also didn't like the idea 
of having their buff evil dictator guy be named Vega because they were like, that doesn't sound manly enough. Yeah. And that is, that's kind of a fake. It's not name. like so they decided <laughs> to do the laziest solution possible and just switch the names. Yeah. So the dictator became Mike Bison or M Bison. Just M. Oh just M. Just Don't M. worry about just it. Just M. I can Bison. also believe that in the universe of things. <laughs> Siley was like, it's like Mike Bison. Is that what this is like? It's a Mike Bison reference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but oh as you pointed out, CJ, the fighter, uh, the boxer is not named Vega in Japan. Yeah. Because they also felt that that name was too sissy for their boxer. <laughs> oh my God. So they instead picked a third me. guy wow. who was like the Spanish assassin dude, but was a little bit effeminate. Yeah. And they were like, he can be Vega. I so know. we're just going to do a triple swap of names <laughs> rather than just making new names. So who's, okay, wait. So what's the hierarchy <laughs> of CJ's this? Confused. What's the hierarchy of this? M. Bison is the person in charge, actually. Yes, yep. Uh -huh. But he was supposed to be named Vega. And in Vega. Japan, he still is Vega. Okay, but Vega's in charge, okay. but it's actually the guy in the big red suit. He is the he is the one in charge, regardless of his name. So regardless of his name. And then the okay. boxer guy works for him? The, bo the boxer guy, who in America is called Balrog. Uh... <laughs> Well, That's a different thing. <laughs> Say that again. The Balrog? The you boxer know, like is the called thing, Balrog. Bal you know, like the thing. Rog? The Balrog? Like the thing Gandalf kills? As, <laughs> the, thing, the thing that is super wild Balrog. to me is that when I first learned this, I figured that the game must like, already have audio files announcing their names and that's why they just switch names. Sure. But it doesn't. They just like didn't want to change the text that said M. Bison and Vega and Balrog. This was in the era of video <laughs> games when the people who programmed the video games so weren't allowed to put their real names on it. So I imagine <laughs> that they were just like, fine, fuck it. I don't care. Just do what? whatever. Oh so, my God. so you're saying that the actual character name was different than what they saw them playing? Uh, so back in the day, it was it was Vega, and still in Japan is Vega. But and, it's not. And it's, now but in he America is M. Bison. Is M. Bison. I'm gonna and say Mike Tyson like, all the time. Don't you can't. We'll get sued. <laughs> you can't. We will get sued. Oh my god. Okay. But, no. Sue you guys right into the fucking ground. Tyke Bison. Okay. M. Bison. Sorry. <laughs> Bite off your ears. <laughs> no, no, Mike. I need that. <laughs> Christ. Oh my god. Um. All right, so we have it's, Michael Bison. He's the head of he's yeah. the head of the dictator company. Yeah, yeah. So in in Japan, Vega's team includes Sagat, M Bison, and Balrog. But in America, M Bison's team includes Sagat, Balrog, and Vega. Right. And we've just gone with it for the past they thirty years, and they have not all. bothered to fix it. We're only going to use the American names, or we will never get anywhere. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Understood. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so M Bison is just M Bison. M Bison. Right. M Bison. <laughs> oh my God! No. Uh, that is scary. Okay. So <laughs> M Bison doesn't have a lot of backstory to him. He kind of fits in like any other fighter character. Right. Uh he was learning kung fu. His master knew a very rare technique that he taught to M Bison and then M Bison killed him. And now and his is... master was probably like, "Yay! <laughs> I'm so proud, I'm of, proud you of you for killing you did me." It. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm following. <laughs> all right. The thing that makes M Bison awesome uh -huh. is that the special type of martial arts that he learned is called psycho power. Psycho. Ethan, what does that do? He so, reads minds of people. So psycho power <laughs> is the catch-all term for the energy psycho. that he uses know. and the technique by which he uses it. And it is essentially a martial art that is made to use psychic powers. Okay. Uh. So so are we talking about like psychic powers like Pokemon psychic powers or are we talking about like uh, Mob Psycho 100 psychic powers? So he can fly, he can Great. teleport, 
He can sometimes phase through shit. So Pokemon. And he can yeah. shoot blasts of psychic power. So Pokemon, and do Pokemon they all have like names? Does he do the power. names when he does he, that? He does a lot of Psycho Crush. And okay, psycho so, okay, so it's like Pokemon rules. <laughs> Got it, is, it. it is Pokemon, yeah. It's uh, definitely Pokemon. He's like a Kadabra. Yeah, it's... <laughs> he's a Kadabra? <laughs> but, but here's, here's he's the other thing. He's This... <laughs> So this ability, psycho power, is not directly based in him being a psychic. It's not just I am psychic, so I can use psycho power. Okay. Rather, psycho power is all of the negative emotions expressed in the world, oh my fear, God. anger, etc., which he can harness to use as a power source for being psychic. Okay. So anyone <laughs> in the words of so Ratatouille. He's actually the good guy, but not bad that guy. not that everyone is psycho power, but anyone can be psycho power. Presumably anyone could be psycho power, but because M Bison has killed his master and is not sharing his techniques. Right. Only M. Bison has yeah. it. And, so, and you have to be like connected um, to all the negative emotions of the world. Is the jealousy world. Like your one of them? average Twitter user. Yeah, yeah. I mean, M. Bison has, without a doubt, become more powerful because Twitter exists. <laughs> you get angry, I get stronger. Are we going to oh. see that in and, the new Street Fighter game where he was like, <laughs> your social media fuckery has made me only more powerful. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to... We're going to get into it. Uh, you get, ha you get hate on Twitter. I get more biceps. Oh, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Because um, my understanding of the new Street Fighter game is that it is chronologically the last one. Like sometimes they is, jump around, but this one's like it for is sure in the future. chronologically the last one. And we are going to mm -hmm. talk more about the stuff that is leading up to the last one at the end here. Okay. And it's fucking wild. Okay. But right. I also we're gonna ground psycho power for you a little more. Yeah. Uh, so basically, oh, you have to ground to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to ground it for you a little bit. <laughs> okay, you have to go outside and barefoot. Well, and he can up. he can fly, so it's you know never never mind okay, never mind. Okay, okay. So yeah, he can he can harness all the evil juice in the world, right? Fantastic. Um. Now, additionally, there is this woman named Rose. Is she white? Who she. Careful, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, everyone's, everyone's waiting. It's, it's I, waiting. Uh, I, could, oh. I could look it up, but I'm really interested. I, I legitimately do not remember the proper term. I know I remember the racist word. She's Italian. Okay. She's okay. Rosa. Uh huh. CJ saved you. Uh, now it's CJ, Italian fortune. All right, got you're, it. You're looking at you're looking at Rose right now. Does she look like a little bit familiar to you? Um, she reminds me of uh, Team Rocket Lady. Okay, yeah, she's got like I a can, hair. Spike. I can yeah. see that. She is based off of Lisa Lisa from JoJo. Okay. Yeah, so she, uh, uh, what? So she what? is the Italian. Yeah, Her, it, jo Jojo. The Everything has to be a Jojo reference. Italian teacher. Uh, yeah, Lisa, Lisa. Yep. I mean the the second Jojo that we follow. Yeah, Joseph. But, but right. But um, he, he's the grandson of the original. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Go yeah. back and listen to the Jojo episode. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to give you plenty of JoJo today. No, so, I love the JoJo so, references. So, okay. Rose is M. Bison's uh, former disciple. Okay. and So she wasn't taught how to former. do psycho power? Well, here's the thing, CJ. <laughs> okay. What M. Bison did was he took all of the goodness in his soul and extracted it and stores it in Rose. Okay. Sure. So oh. because of that, Rose can't use psycho power, but she can use uh. the good opposite, which is soul power. Dude, what's the <laughs> Okay, whatever. The soul power. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what side of the spectrum you're on, you just have to pick a side. Oh. It's I mean, sort of the force the, rules. It is sort of the force rules. Soul power, it's kind of suggested is only powered by your own will Why rather than she, the whole world's. Why was she but, his disciple though? I, they have not explained very well. Oh, she just wanted that that M by dick. That M bison. <laughs> the dick That massive bison. Oh, there, there you go. That one's better. That one's um, better. We'll put that one in. But yeah, so the, th the reason that this is kind of weird also, though, 
is because Rose is so closely based on Lisa Lisa, mm. all of the moves that she uses that are called soul power are functionally Hamon. Awesome. So, oh, psycho oh. power oh my is God. a combination psychic ka- kung fu, and it is also evil Hamon. Oh my right. goodness! No. Which is more than that in JoJo because there was no evil version of Hamon. There was, there was no, just there vampires. Was, there was, yeah, <laughs> I guess true. Vampires, there was vampires are the evil. Anything <laughs> vampires do is the opposite of Hamon because Hamon is the sun, but it's also your breathing. Yes. And but it's like you can only use it if, if you're that alive. isn't an explanation that's, of what that hormone is, is. I mean, that's I exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So soul energy is. This like is awesome. This is. I'm loving this. Okay, I'm boost, loving it. But it's also the opposite. Yeah, and psycho power <laughs> is like breathing, but also all negativity in the world. Right. It is the power of Twitter. Great. <laughs> it's a negative so, hum. Okay. So Bison has mastered psycho power but he still wants to make sure that he's the strongest in the world, like all of these dudes always do. Right, Obviously. So he goes around fighting a bunch of famous martial artists, and just if any time they have a good technique, he steals it. Ah. Which, like, so is that like a, a power thief. of his, or does he just learn how to do it? I'm, he's also a thief yeah. in his, uh, probably a side is, game. Again, he is all the bad things that he could be. But that's such a weird <laughs> thing to have as a martial artist, because like all martial arts is like copying other stuff. Like you like Yeah, but he's copying it with psychic powers. So he is using like magic to just like it, taskmaster it? It does seem like he is just using psychic powers to taskmaster it. Okay. There is like That's a bit sinister, I guess. There is there is like a specific one where uh there's a Muay Thai character, not Sagat, different one. Okay. And he has this awesome like jump forward kick flip attack. Uh-huh. And it is strongly suggested that Bison stole this attack because he has the same one, except psychic power shoots out of his feet when he does it. Which does it's seem like better in yeah, every way. It does seem like he just can't do the flip, but just psychics <laughs> himself to do the flip. Okay. That's that's still a little weird. The, the, so the <laughs> The implication is like, I perfected this amazing technique that allows me to copy other people. And other people are like, that's stealing. And it's like, I had to do the thing. That's like if I came up with a way to study where I could like learn stuff really easily. And then they're like, well, that's just copying what you're reading. I'm like, yeah, but I did the thing that I could just like absorb knowledge or whatever. And like, no, 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 that's stealing. I don't think that people's <laughs> biggest problem with Bison is that he steals techniques. Okay, that, but it they, is they that just like pile on. He's like, oh, he's a dick. So <laughs> yeah, gonna... it, is, it is that he is like in every way attempting to be evil incarnate. Sure, okay. <laughs> um, okay. So so during this time when he's going around with all of fighting all these uh, martial arts masters, he hears about this super rad martial art, the Satsui no Hado. Oh, I know oh, about that one oh. from the last episode. Yeah. Uh, Remind he, me who that was again. So the Satsui no Hado is the wave of murderous intent. <laughs> okay, that was him. Yeah, okay. yeah. You remember, you remember now? Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, so, yep. So he hears about this one and he's I like... I heard y'all have a soul exploding <laughs> technique. <laughs> any, any of that you guys? This kind of sounds like my jam. <laughs> <laughs> and I just copy it, so... <laughs> So I steal he, it and then <laughs> copy it exactly and, and use and when I punch people with and put soul destroying punch energy it, into I'll it. Do, yeah, I'll yeah. do it with a psychic and, blast. And you'll be annoyed that Mine's I stole your technique, cooler. but you're annoyed. It just makes me stronger. <laughs> And mine's more cooler. <laughs> and mine is purpley and cool. Oh, so it's, it's purple. Cool. Yeah, he's what? Like, his Psych- psycho powers are purple. Are purple. <laughs> uh, it, it's, okay, it, it's really good is color. Is that not play a manly it? enough color for you, Silent? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> you're just getting punched by the <laughs> psychic guy, and it's all purple, and you're like purple. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't <laughs> imagine purple as so powerful. It's a cool tone. <laughs> what, the, what are you talking? Yeah, wait, should be like wait, 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 wait. What is the what is the powerful color? Siley? Orange, yellow, red. Siley's, I don't know. Siley's bias. She thinks oh saffron gosh. is the strongest. Color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't okay. Know. You are wearing a very purple jelly kid forever T-shirt. Yeah, and I am emitting <laughs> masculinity right now. <laughs> Just power. <It's laughs> gel- no one gel- would fight jelly me. power. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he hears about the Satsui no Hado, and uh-huh. he says. 
this sounds pretty awesome. I want that. So he looks up the only practitioner who still has a permanent address, which like because Akuma's just off on an island oh, somewhere. Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. And Exploding islands or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Goken's new dojo is the only place where he can find this, right? Uh-huh. Bison goes and he fights Goken. And he does technically beat Goken, but this is because Goken refused to use any of his techniques, oh, right? Oh, because he doesn't want it to get copied. He doesn't want him to get copied. Okay. Oh, so what does he really do? Just but, stand wait. there? I mean, I guess he does some... <laughs> 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 like, I guess Hi! he does some punches and such, but he does not throw a single Hadouken. Okay, great. Okay. Wait, is a Hadouken a Setsui no Hado yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So that little fireball is a ball of murderous intent. Yeah, well, I get. I think when Akuma <laughs> shoots it, it's red, and when the boys shoot it, it's blue. Right. So there might be a little bit of that there, but okay. We're, we're- I, I, looking back at the last episode, I realized that we basically did not talk about the Hadoken at all. And I was like, that's kind of a big thing that he does, but I don't know. He, it's quarterback turn B or whatever. Right. So he shoot, he shoot fireballs sometimes. Yeah. But they're blue. But they're blue. Uh, so they're blue balls. But really. Goken won't show him his blue balls. <laughs> Goken. <laughs> that does not sound good at all. <laughs> Goken is the one who does like empty soul, right? He will. He will later a- master uh, or work towards mastering the power of nothingness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so okay. M. Bison's so pissed. Forever. M. Bison's pissed. He won't show. Uh, Goken won't show him his techniques. Yeah. But Give me a fireball, bro. Yeah. Do fucking it. fireball me, dude. I'm gonna keep punching you till you do. Are you too afraid, you <laughs> but coward? He sees his. He sees Goken's students there, Ryu and Ken, and he's like, you know what? I bet in like uh, ten years these brash boils will be shooting Hadoukens. I love the patience of that. He's like. <laughs> I won't be able to get it out of you in the next 10 years, but in 10 years, these boys, they will fight me. They'll be rough and tumble boys. They'll want to shoot a Hadouken or two. I will go collect all the angriness in the world and make more I biceps. Could, I can wait all the hatreds and, in the world's not and, going anywhere. And, and bigger thighs. Yeah, I mean, you guys oh, are- Oh, these boys are going to grow up big and strong. You yeah. guys are like, yeah, you guys are doing jokes, but you are like dead on. Of course you're like so, he's mm, these, these boys have got some good fight in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to kick the shit out of these boys. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So at this point, Bison has beaten a ton of martial arts masters. Okay. He has proclaimed himself the greatest martial artist in the world. Okay. Which like three other people are concurrently claiming, but who cares? Yeah. Uh so now he's the dictator. Uh, Gotta no, listen to He him. does have mm, probably yeah. better like marketing on it. Like Akuma just went to an island and was like, yeah. I'm the strongest. It's like, I mean, he definitely wears the army like a, uniform like, going right. around everywhere. Yeah, you so gotta, you gotta, you gotta listen like to the dude. Press release or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so for Bison, he's like, there's nowhere more I can go on the technique side, right? Like, sure. I've stolen he's a bunch of these he's best masters. Yeah. Psycho Boost. But he still wants to be stronger. Mm. So if you want to gain more power and your powers are fueled by negative emotions, what do you do? Okay, so he literally is just (laughs) Elon Musk. (laughs) (laughs) But buffer. But buffer in a uniform. Have you ever seen Elon Musk with his shirt off? I I I have. He's very dumpy. (laughs) (laughs) But imagine if he was just so fucking buff. That would be very scary. (laughs) If, like, Zuckerberg took his shirt off and he was just, like, so ripped all the way down, had, like, the cum gutters going down, I'd right, be like, right. holy and not, shit. And not just, like, pretty muscles, but, like, legitimately like big, looked, powerful yeah, ones. Yeah. yeah, I know. That would be really scary. That's what Bezos is. Oh, he's more like a Bezos, I think. Oh Has anyone seen Bezos? He's really working towards that. Oh, my so, goodness. Unfortunately, this, like, this got this into is, a different tangent. Uh, well, well, luckily, for, I guess, yeah, not unfortunately. Luckily for all of us, okay. this was like pre tech boom and such. He didn't have time to steal the techniques of Steve Jobs. <laughs> so he instead, to grow his evil powers, decides to start a terrorist organization. Okay, great. Wow, okay. Awesome. What can we do? Hire more haters. How do I put the most evil in the world? Haters. Al-Qaeda. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Easy. And so, but he's he's like, 
tight on the name game. So he's not going to go with Al-Qaeda. Right. His evil marketing. organization, Shadalu, is a... <laughs> what is this, like a shadow potato? Sh yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> a shadow potato? Sh <laughs> when he reveals his evil... This evil thing in India, everyone's like, yeah. shadow potato. Yeah. What the hell? Shadalu, which translates in Hindi to shadow potato. Shadalu. Shredded alu, okay, whatever. Shredded potato. It's like a shredded potato, okay. The hash brown organization. <laughs> Uh, I love it. This yeah, is awesome. it's, it's so joke. good. Really, yeah, it's really so good. innovative name. It's really good. Cool. Oh so Shadalu <laughs> focuses on just kind of generally making the world a worse place. I'm gonna right? laugh at it forever. It's That's like, awesome. <laughs> uh, so Shadalu is part military operation. <laughs> Part drug cartel, uh -huh. part dictatorship. Uh -huh. Though they never specify where. I, yeah, I was gonna say what. What do they like? So what, what land do they yeah. own? The the people's guess is Thailand. Okay, because M Bison's uh, stage that you fight him on is in Thailand. Uh, I got you. But okay. they ab like Capcom absolutely refuses to state where right. he is a dictator of. I would I would a say fantasy he's, land somewhere. Yeah, I would say he's like probably Thailand. got like the Doctor Doom thing where <laughs> yeah, Doctor yeah, Doom yeah. like owns a country, but it's just like some like country that doesn't exist it's, in Eastern Europe. It is all fantasy, <laughs> my man. This is, yeah. There's no Thailand. There's yeah, I don't fantasy know. There's a new land, island and yeah. then Bison. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's by Thailand. Yeah, by 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 land. By land. By land. But but the S is silent because it's like by by land. It's in my <laughs> land. <laughs> okay. In my land. Shadaloo. My land. <laughs> Military operation, drug cartel, dictatorship, mm -hmm. and Nazi scientist parallel. Classic. Oh. All right. So he's doing- How can you leave them behind? Uh, that last one, it's super important okay. because Bison is not a popular guy. Right, but it sounds like he doesn't want to be. Right, but Wait, people don't want to work for him. Oh. Is the Wait, thing. but isn't he the one claiming he's one of the like only the best? The uh, best, but, they're, but the world's the just full beloved. of haters. That one's Ryu. Uh. Everyone loves Ryu. <laughs> oh, okay. Go, Ryu. Uh. All right. Okay. So he hires a lot of martial artists to work for him, right? Who are just in it for the money, right? Which yeah. is another reason why uh, Mike Tyson would probably not like the representation okay. of Balrog. Right. He is shown to be just mm. completely in it for the cash and okay. is just like a fighter for hire. Sure, and uh, as we all know, Tyson doesn't care about the money. He just likes biting guys' ears off. <laughs> <laughs> um. Show but those who he can't hire, he uses his science branch to do a lot of brainwashing. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. So he's... So he's brainwashing them to hate so everybody he, else or he, hate him? Or... Yeah, he like wants <laughs> how's, all how's of the fighters going? also, but also wants to fight them. Yeah, and so I think I think he kind of just has a fire? bias because he is a martial artist. He's like, well, of course, oh. my generals should all be martial artists sure. too. Sure, like when you when you try to apply for a job and you went to the same college as the people that are right, like, exactly. Oh, you, shit. And they're like, uh. oh yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I fucking love UCLA or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Out of here. So cool, cool, cool. The, the Nazi scientist parallel of his organization right. has made this excellent catch all device that is called the Psycho Drive. All right. Psycho Drive. Psycho Drive. Yes. Okay. Now, this one is kind of tough to pin down because it is a plot device that does whatever Bison needs it to do. Are you sure this is a fighting game? This sounds yeah. like an when, anime. When does any <laughs> fighting happen? This sounds like I a know. fucking RPG. I was like, it's, what is... <laughs> it's much closer to an RPG, the way the story <laughs> goes. Um, okay, so Bison himself can tap into all the negative emotions that are occurring at any given moment but the psycho drive is able to store negative energy like a battery. Mm, okay. So it basically- So it, if the world population <laughs> just gets a little too nice with each other, right. we're, we're, that's fine. I'm right. saving so for the apocalypse. The, the, <laughs> way, the way I said it was- the Storage. It's, it's like if Goku charged up a spirit bomb, but then he did just put it in a box and for had later. It, had it waiting, or right. hitting the earth or whatever. Yeah, right, okay. right. Then, then Frieza shows up and he's like, well, I'll just when, chuck this. When you were a kid and you played like the like fighting in the in the 
you know, in the playground and stuff like that. And you're like, I, I use come here, come here, man. It's like, well, I, I have a spirit bomb that I've been charging for a thousand years orbiting the earth. And now it's going to hit you. Yeah. It's like that. Uh, we were like but, that. We were like that to an embarrassing degree. <laughs> I know. I know the guys no, no. you hung out with in, in elementary school. <laughs> You guys went I to know the they're younger school? brothers because they made fun. The, the guys that played nerdy Dragon Ball Z <laughs> with you on the playground, their younger siblings bullied me. Oh my god! That's how many know each other. Oh my goodness! I oh. I know none of this. That's that's the deep lore. <laughs> that's that's the that's the lore you know. Lore. Uh, okay, the, so that's the, the psych- lore we all know lore. <laughs> we all know it now. <laughs> So the psycho drive, it can store stuff like a battery. It can also fill fighters with psycho power if you plug them into it, which will brainwash them to work for M. Bison. V- via I what see, interface I are you plugging? Is it like the matrix? Is it I, like uh, what? a suppository? What's happening? Uh, what are they the also way I've getting seen it plugged in a tra- into? It is usually like a big chamber thing. Okay. Like, like ha. Sure, okay, okay. okay. Um, and uh, I was it thinking also, more like a plug, which like you plug like your phone. No, nope, it's, it's kind of like the thing where they hold your eyes open and you have to like <laughs> look at it or whatever. Oh, it's gosh. it's more nondescript than that. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, so it can do these things, and then Bison can also go into it, and he can like slurp up all that charged energy, num, num, num. and he can okay. become his own Super Saiyan form, Shin Bison. Okay, so we have. Ryu, who uh-huh. can become Dark Ryu, evil when, Ryu, when he evil gets Ryu. too yeah. powerful. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And he doesn't become Akuma, but Akuma can become Oni. 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 Uh huh. And then there's M Bison, and if he gets charged with enough negative juice, he becomes Shin Bison. Yes. Okay. So they all have We'd, their. We elevated... haven't even talked about Angry Ken yet. That can. That's not real. <laughs> But that's he's a, just a fake angry. <laughs> Let me. But wouldn't wouldn't that energy get sucked so, up by M Bison then? So the if other he's so ones angry? are like, I've been f- I've been infused with the darkness of all of the world's Do they emotion. Ever fight? And can Ken's you like, fight? Oh, I'm just so mad at you right here we, here now. Here we go. I'm sorry. So can you go his, angry by bi- uh, angry Ken and M Bison fight together? His his name is Violent Ken. Oh, okay. Violent mind, Ken. <laughs> unlike I fight people, but it's not about violence. Unlike normal me. Ken, yeah. who is a martial artist. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So, wow. Uh he can go Super Saiyan. He can do Shin Bison, right? Awesome. Yeah, I love But it. this one has a catch because Bison's body just cannot take the sheer power coursing through him when he goes Shin Bison, Why? right? But he's so this, buff. It's, it is... <laughs> Surely, if he's that buff, he'd be fine, right? Listen, right. It, he can do it sometimes, but it is slowly killing him. The doctor oh, yeah. says he can only do this two or three more times. But he doesn't win everyone. <laughs> right, right. Got it. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. if you had to guess, what would you say Bison will do in this situation? In the situation where he can only use his superpower one or two more times? Uh-huh. Well, he wants to be the strongest ever. Uh-huh. And he can only do it one or two more times. So he starts a world tournament to find the strongest <laughs> fighters? And wait for two more decades. And then wait for those boys to grow <laughs> yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. You are half correct. Okay. <laughs> so he is going to spend the entire Street Fighter series looking for a replacement body that can fit oh, even more evil energy because into he can, it. he can put his mind so, with his psychic powers So he wants even a buffer body. The creature. Some sort of nubile, so powerful young boy who grew up into a powerful street fighter. Some kind, ah. exactly. Who has the power that he never obtained. So how from... old is M. Bison here? Yeah, he's got to be like 60 or some uh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. At the start, he's like 30 or 40 He's or looking really good. He's looking so good. Um, <laughs> so okay. M, like we said before, M. Bison's always recruiting martial artists, and he's just f- hired the former Street Fighter champion, Sagat. Now, Sagat takes the job because he wants to use the reach of the organization to get revenge on Ryu, who beat him with some Satsui no Haro bullshit. Uh And Bison says, wait, 
Satsui no Hado. That sounds familiar. Wait a second. Flashback literally 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> so Bison decides he wants to capture Ryu so that he can see if a body that has mastered the wave of murderous intent would be a good vessel for his all negative emotions in the world power. Which is, oh which is like the weirdest thing. It's like, huh. I need someone who's really good at Sudoku so I can transfer my brain, which is filled with <laughs> negative energy in it. Because I think if you've mastered Sudoku, you will be able to take on that energy better. Yeah. I guess it makes a little more sense. It's a wave of murderous intent. That's pretty like dark. It's pretty it's pretty good. Thing. If he would have learned about his master who became the art of nothing or whatever, that probably would have been the best one because he'd be like, oh, Yeah, cool. that's what you I got thought he was going to learn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh man. This is the Street Fighter Alpha series. And okay. is it because I'm, it's called like focusing it, on M Bison? It's I mean, it's called Street Fighter Alpha, I guess, just because it takes place between Street Fighter 1 and Street Fighter 2. Okay. Um, but this one is a little this one is a little bit crazy, and we're gonna get a little bit too into detail here. Yeah, sure, but go for it. But I, I want to do that because I want you guys to get a good picture of just how the entire Street Fighter world revolves around M. Bison. Okay. okay. I love it. Give us give us the lore you know, Ethan. Okay. So Chun Li is a Chinese martial artist and member of Interpol. Right. She is hunting down Shadaloo because her father used to be the Interpol narcotics investigator. Okay. And when he started looking into Shadaloo's drug ring, he disappeared. And if you watch the Chun Li live action movie, you would know all of. <laughs> you this. would know all these things already. Right. Which I don't, but it's fine. It's more than fine. <laughs> <laughs> not it's having preferred. seen, not, yeah, not having seen the Chun Li movie is a, a boon to you as a person. <laughs> I right. am happier. So, like CJ says, okay. <laughs> that's Chun Li. Yeah. Cami is a Shadalu assassin sent to kill the yoga master Dal Sim because he has been standing in the way of Shadalu activity in his area in India. Because he's like, oh, Shadow Potato. <laughs> <laughs> it is very funny. <laughs> I can just eat this one. <laughs> oh, yummy, so, yummy shredded potato. I, I so, put this in my subji <laughs> and eat it all uh, like uh, num 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 finger licking good. <laughs> yeah, you know how Indians are. Like, only only the right good. hand. Yeah, exactly. Only the right hand, no left hand. All right. So they fight. Dalsim beats her, and he uses the power of yoga to free her mind. Okay, so she hands. was brainwashed. She had been mind controlled by Shadaloo wow, and okay. has no memory of who she actually is. So oh, convenient. she is now hunting down M. Bison for answers, but Bison hears about this ahead of time and sends his hired assassin, Vega, to assassinate his former assassin, Cami. Oh my god, right. I am. Confused. So the problem what? with that is you would probably want to send your best assassin every time, which means if you're working a backup assassin, he's probably not as good of an assassin. Or you would have just used that. Why would you to, go I think to a backup Vega, assassin? Vega do... is his best assassin. Okay. And I I guess, I think he underestimated Dal Sim. Sure. He was just thing. like some guy who does yoga. <laughs> that can't be that hard to kill, which in fairness... Yeah. Wait, so they didn't know he's stretchy and I also I guess they didn't know he could shoot fire. fire. Yeah, I okay. guess they didn't know that. They, or I, he probably also didn't know that the power of yoga <laughs> defeats brainwashing, they I guess. Right, or right. they probably is, like, thought it is a dish, which is a lentil oh, soup. Yeah. 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 Will you be able to defeat the Dal Sim? I can definitely like, just uh, finish as long as it's my not bowl. Too spicy. Yeah, right. Okay, yes, delicious. I, I love the sort of rock, paper, scissors that we're getting with this, like <laughs> psychic brainwashing beats way of murderous intent, but yoga beats psychic brainwashing and probably murderous intent beats yoga. You would think. Probably. I would imagine so. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then so the power of American ingenuity hell beats yeah. something. So that's Cammy and Dalsim uh -huh. and Vega, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. Charlie Nash is a US Marine who has gone rogue, all right? He and his best buddy, Guile, were captured on a secret military mission, and he concludes that the only way that that could have happened uh -huh. is if there was an informant in the military who was leaking stuff, right? Okay, so 
Guile is a undercover American Marine. Guile is part of the Air Force. Okay. But was he, it was like a secret thing? It was some kind of secret ops mission that they, it was a flight mission of because, some kind. Because I imagine they're just like, who could the, who could be a spy among us? And then they look at <laughs> Guile, the guy with like the flat top blonde yes. hair coming up. He's like, I don't, I, I don't know, dog. So uh, Could be anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Guile was originally made to look like Polnareff. Well, how does Guile uh, look? Polnareff. The uh, the boy from JoJo with the very tall oh, silver yeah, yeah, hair. Yeah. I see. And okay. uh, they then like some one of the artists like squished his hair down because he was like he he funny. Yeah. <laughs> right. And they yeah. were like, like I like I that. <laughs> I like that. He looks silly. <laughs> I I like I know, that though. I don't know why. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be surprised, but I am every single time you tell me that. Yeah, this is actually is a JoJo <laughs> yeah, reference. Yeah, this is a JoJo <laughs> reference. This is yes. a total JoJo reference. Um, <laughs> All right. So, uh, Charlie Nash is there. Their mission got fucked up. He thinks that there's a mole. And as he investigates it, he finds out that, yeah, there's a lot of shit wrong in the American military. Uh, Shadaloo is paying a ton of soldiers to be his drug pushers, like wherever they go and do wars. To peel and he all is the paying potatoes off, in the world. Yeah, and he's paying off all the higher ups to look the other way, right? Okay. okay. So huh, just regular politics then. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> Uh, so Charlie decides he's going to go rogue. He's going to do this himself. He's going to take down Shadaloo, right? Now- That name is so funny. And so Charlie, Charlie Nash- has been retconned so many times okay. that rather than tell you what Charlie like canonically did, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna tell you everything that Charlie is associated with doing. Okay, yeah, okay? go for it. Like right. real world events? <laughs> like like Excuse real me. Street Fighter world events. Oh, okay. Cause I was gonna say it this all does predate <laughs> like Al Qaeda to the point of like this would have been the time in American history when we were like funding the people yeah. that would eventually become Al-Qaeda because I mean, they were fighting the Russians in if, the Middle East. If you were like from that era and like an adult playing this game, you would be like, oh yeah, this dictator guy is supposed to represent all of the things that we as the American military yeah. are causing. Uh, like, see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Charlie corners M. Bison in Brazil, right? He tells okay. Bison, he's like, the the backup helicopter is on the way. There's no way for you to escape. But Bison fights him anyway. Now, Charlie is able to beat him with the power of justice or some shit. Okay, well, but, he beats psychic powers? But as the backup helicopter comes in, they shoot Charlie in the back. No! The whole, oh. the, all that group was paid off by Shadaloo because, like, that's why Charlie was there in the first place. I don't know why no. he thought to call him back up. Right. Um, Cause, so he was looking for the traitors in the American <laughs> government that were traitors <laughs> for Bison. And then he was like, help me do that. And they were like, okay, we'll send some guys to help you do that for sure. <laughs> exactly. And then the guys that they sent to help him were the traitor guys. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So Charlie is dead. Aww. Or alternatively. Aww. Bison defeats Charlie easily and throws him down a waterfall into a chasm. That one makes more sense. Charlie is dead. Okay. 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 So Chun-Li also finds Bison, but Bison just beats her ass easily and flies Damn. away just saying, I killed your dad. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> he does. He just- The more angry you are about it, the stronger I am. Get jumped. <laughs> Get jumped, idiot. Get upset so, <laughs> right in now. In fairness, Chun-Li's only- power is that she's just got strong powerful legs i think she can shoot some kind of little fireball thingies oh then that's great too everybody shoots fire most people you need to have a ranged attack so that you can do like chip damage (laughs) so no one really has a weapon the fire people do a few people do but most most of them are just hand-to-hand fighters okay um but yeah so bison he just straight up he's like yeah i killed your dad (laughs) haha later Okay. Uh, but Chun Li, like, she was no match for him. Yeah. So she decides she needs to take a smarter approach. So she teams up with an American named Charlie Nash to find mm. Shadaloo's base. Ah. Okay. Now, so this is the third account of Charlie Nash. <laughs> this is the third <laughs> yeah. account, which is which is in direct conflict with the other ones. Yes. Perfect. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. And he's supposed to be the same guy every time? Or yes. is it just like, no, any, it, is, any, it is. We're all Charlie Nash in a way. <laughs> Anytime I say Charlie Nash, it is the same guy despite direct conflict with what he previously did. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> okay. So, okay. meanwhile, Vega has successfully hunted down Cammy. Now, Vega is a fucking creep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, he he's the sex pervert, right? <laughs> he is the sex pervert. Okay. Got he it. is also so he's a real pretty boy, yeah. and he is obsessed with beauty. Oh, what? I got him confused with the person I'm... from what's the other fighting game we played that had Link in it and and Soul Calibur. Yeah, I got confused with the Soul Calibur guy who like no, crawls he... around on his so hands and no, Vegas not that one, not that Vega's the one with the mask, right? He's the one he... with the mask okay. and the talon blade. Yeah. yeah. Do you okay. have a picture of Vega? Vega, yeah, we uh, can do Vega here. Sure, yeah. Uh, CJ, I will take a drink while CJ pulls it up. Nice. Yeah, he looks like the beautified, buffy, taller version of El Edward Elric. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I can see that. <laughs> He he looks like the the man with in the Iron Wolverine, Mask. Uh, yeah, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, with, with Wolverine, Wolverine claws. claws. Yeah. So Vega, he's a super pretty boy, and he's also obsessed with beauty, which pretty much translates to him like constantly creeping on the female fighters in the series, right? Oh my god. Um, but he's got like a complicated sexual repression thing come going on. He does like, he talks about how they're the most beautiful and sensual things. Yeah. So I must fight you. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Um, yeah. You it's like when you see a cute this... cat and you're like, I want to fucking crush it. I want to like turn into <laughs> I, ground. That's ground cute chuck. aggression. I that's guess not it's like fighting. that. Yeah, it's like it's a yeah, that's like a thing. It's, it's like he's, 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 he's not. I want to eat he, my he baby because it's so me. cute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, people I say that. Smash this into a pancake. But that's cute aggression. That's not. Well, I guess I guess he has sexy aggression. Uh, so you're so sexy that so I want to like, kill you. Fucking kick you in the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. All right, okay. and make you ugly then. <laughs> like, so no, no, beauty is <laughs> combat. So. Hell yeah! Oh my God, CJ. I know. Um, so philosophical. Mm. <laughs> okay, if we're getting this far into it, then I just need to explain. So, uh, Vega had a super hot mom. He's got mommy issues, right? Nice. Her mom, his mom married this ugly businessman dude, remarried this ugly businessman dude, mm -hmm. and the ugly businessman dude was an abuser, mm. and uh. he came to a point where, like, drunk and abusing her one night, he killed Vega's mom, and then Vega oh. killed him. And uh. so- Wolverine claws? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Okay, sure. What? Yeah, he, that, uh, those are had him for birth. I don't know. That is a pretty good uh, background story. So, so yeah, so he is now not only associated being a jerk with being evil, but specifically being ugly with right. being evil. That's not a bad. You know, that's not a bad backstory. <laughs> yeah, I get, no, like, that I is a really that. good backstory. Yeah, that's like better that. than I thought. I just yeah. thought it was a sex pervert. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the way it's going to manifest. Sure. Okay, so he. Um, finds Cammy and he defeats her, but he's impressed by her skills. She has grown a lot from not being brainwashed as right. opposed to kung fu fighting while being uh -huh. brainwashed. Uh -huh. And she's a fucking hot. I was gonna say, I, I like a yeah. really long braid. I've yep. got one too. <laughs> I like how I can see basically right into your pussy. <laughs> That's is my this an part. avatar reference? Uh, no, <laughs> this no, is just this a Cammy reference. Yeah, no. Here, oh, this okay. is this is what this is what Cammy looks so like. So I, I I put my tail into yours, the kind of thing. No, I don't know. Not, although they do have the same ponytail. <laughs> Look, you can see like that's your fucking pussy right there. <laughs> you can just see it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna blow your mind later, CJ. Her face is so not proportionate with her body. What do you mean? So tiny for. A uh, you're, Tiny just, you're just you're just jealous that. of her buff buff shoulders. I was gonna say everyone's uh, everyone's uh, lusting over Cammy in the new Street Fighter because they released the videos and she's got butt jiggle physics. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, when she's kicking, you can see now. Her I ass see why you clapping. men god, I'm really gonna, want to go watch we're the gonna, movie. We're gonna put this into perspective <laughs> later. Fortnite, but, Cammy, and Guile. Oh wait, this wait, is what? just a fan thing. Uh, okay, you don't like the jiggle works? What? Uh, no, no, <laughs> I I don't like the jiggle works, and you will see why later. <laughs> Okay. But okay, Vega beats Cammy but lets her go and he tells her where to find the Shadaloo base and he's just like, yeah, go figure it out for yourself. And I will tell you guys why this is extra icky later, okay? 
Okay. So meanwhile, Bison has had spies all up in Ryu's business to find his weak point, right? Uh Uh-huh. And he uh, sends people to capture and brainwash his surrogate brother, Ken, to lure Ryu out. All no. right. Okay. They fill Ken with psycho energy and it brainwashes him. And this is where violent Ken comes from. Ah. Oh, so Ken can't even activate violent Ken. He's <laughs> no, like too bi- nice a guy. Bison <laughs> has to activate violent oh, Ken. Okay. I see. Okay. And, uh, and, and that makes more sense. And Ken isn't a suitable candidate for bison he's this he the, <laughs> he learned the he, same he's, stuff he's literally yeah, yeah. a clone fighter i mean Ryu. we haven't yeah. seen ken Sats, like do uh evil satsui no Hado yet so sure i guess he's just too good a guy okay sure and um ryu only did it the one time though well he's gonna do accident. it some more oh okay so ryu uh take he takes the bait he comes to the base. He's able to beat Ken and free him of his mind control. Okay, so punching also <laughs> does that. So probably <laughs> just punching does it. It would seem. I mean, like, but, yoga, oh the God. yoga might have come into play, but he was punching him. <laughs> You're not wrong. All yeah. right. Okay. okay. All right. That is insane. <laughs> so no, you don't understand, Sally. You're a, you're the resident lady of the podcast. You don't understand. Men really can communicate a lot of intricate emotions with by punches? punching the shit out of each by other. By punching and occasional oh. kick. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, what if I punch you? Does what does I would that feel mean? Nothing. That's oh, I see. That's I see. abuse. <laughs> okay, but you punch Ethan is emotions. That's brotherhood. <laughs> A, a warrior's Noted. bond. Noted. Okay, I'm learning so much here. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what the show's for. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank Gotta you. know Thank the lore's right. Yeah. You bridge the gap. <laughs> uh, so uh, Ryu is able to save Ken, but then he's you know he's fallen into the trap. Bison confronts mm. him and he fights him. I he's want your body. <laughs> like, oh, well, he's yeah, like, he's just. <laughs> it's time what? to give me your bod, Ryu. <laughs> He's what? Like, what? what? No. <laughs> Wait a second. You're that old creepy guy from 20 years <laughs> from ago. 20 years. I've you been waiting live? for that bod ever How since. How old are you, dude? <laughs> How like are the, you he's still like alive? The, he's like those old, like, European aristic, ca- aristic <laughs> I would say aristocats because of the movie, but yeah. aristocrats that would, like, <laughs> see a seven-year-old and be like, you will be my bride eventually. <laughs> I have a feeling you will grow to be attractive in two or three years when you're a good round age, like 10. A 10? Oh my God. A good round age. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so Ryu is creeped out, but he fights Bison. But of course, he's in Shin Bison mode. He beats the shit out of Ryu and has successfully captured him. Damn, he's going to have to no. accelerate to some sort of higher level of Whoa, Ryu in order Ryu. to fight back. Wait, I thought Ryu was one of the best. How did he lose? Because who can beat Shin Bison? Akuma. We'll see. Okay. Uh, the so, the Dalsim guy? I don't know. Yeah, he's got the power of yoga. <laughs> then Dalsim. So yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So meanwhile, Chun-Li and Charlie track down the Shadaloo base, but Charlie's BFF Guile shows up and says, hey, don't ask the U.S. government for help. They're full of Shadaloo spies. Yeah. And Charlie's like, in this dimension, thank you very much for telling me that. Right. Uh, if, if I had trusted them, they might have betrayed and killed me. That would have been ridiculous of me. Yeah. So they decide that they're going to take the base down themselves. So they sneak in. They're starting to plant explosives and shit, right? Okay, oh, just okay. all over the base. Yeah. Meanwhile, wait, does wait, not, wait, wait, wait. that does where's, not take down where? an organization. It's like blowing up one of their buildings does not. Where is it, this organization? I'm going to tell you, CJ, that the game between Street Fighter 1 and Street Fighter 2 is probably not going to be the end of the organization. That's a good point. All right. Uh, so where is this base that we're talking Thailand. about? Thailand. Oh, Somewhere it's the, in it's Thailand. The same, okay, it's okay. The, it's the secret bison island in it's Thailand. It's like my yep. land. Yes. Uh, Okay. Okay. So All meanwhile, right. okay. Cammy has shown up to Shadaloo, where okay. she has run into 
many other hot lady assassins nice. because apparently Shadaloo has an entire hot lady assassin team <laughs> called the Dolls. I mean, the, wouldn't you though? Like the Dolls? <laughs> if you the were, Dolls. If you like the D-O-L-Ls or yeah. D-A-L-Ls? Yes, the D-O-L-Ls. <laughs> the Doll Sims. The Doll Sims. Yoga. Yoga. Uh, we so, are powerful. Could in, you imagine yeah, the Street pretty. Fighter ladies doing yoga? I mean, come on. I oh mean, my God. come on. Is CJ, keep it in your pants. I, Jesus. I, I He's I, doing I another cum joke, Sorry, I looked Ken, up, don't you know? I looked up Cammy. And, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, they never explained why, but he was like, yes, I want my assassin team to be all hot ladies and since no they hot never explain what explanation do you need, Ethan? <laughs> since it's no obvious. Since no hot ladies will ever willingly work for me, we will brainwash all of them. <laughs> and it turns out when Kami was brainwashed, she used to be their leader. Oh, oh. And so they're all like, oh hey boss. Hey boss. Uh so she has freed several of them from mind control, probably by punching. And, punching Kami, and yeah. uh together they all confront bison. <laughs> And here, okay. Bison reveals two big things, okay? One of them, pretty straightforward. All the dolls have a fail-safe psychic brain exploder thing if they betray Bison, right? Uh, so they cannot fight him. They'll just die. <laughs> okay. But. Okay. So it activates if they fight him? Uh, I or, think it, I think it was like if he if they beat him or so I don't know it's whatever it's psychic <laughs> fail safe explode Chili your mind stuff. It's, it's, we call it the alpha chip. If you do anything <laughs> that makes me look beta, you die. <laughs> Wasn't Chun Li one of them though? No, no, Chun no, Li is if she's with part Interpol. of Interpol. Oh, oh, okay. She okay, never okay. got brainwashed. Oh, okay. But her dad's dead. Mm -hmm. Her dad, uh, her dad is dead, oh, and Bison okay. said so. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's his first reveal, right? Okay. His second reveal. That's a but it's a weird <laughs> trigger mechanism, by the way. I'm no, just it's being, <laughs> no, it's very good. It's very straightforward. Feels like if he just wanted to do it, he should just be able to do it. But he's like, no, I made it, so you have to beat me. But that'll <laughs> never happen. But that'll never that'll happen. Never happen. <sighs> um, yeah. Okay. Reveal number two. Uh huh. Is that Cammy is a clone of M Bison. And was meant to be his next body after Psycho Power destroyed Whoa! his current one. Right. What? Oh. That makes the most sense of it. Because <laughs> if so my body was dying. I was not expecting that at all. First off, not how clones work. <laughs> Well, so, also, okay, he made okay. a female right. version of so, himself as a clone. How did that happen? So, that would be such a beautiful. <laughs> thing. So we wait, 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 wait. So, so we've talked about happen? we have talked about before how like weird, weird clone translations and stuff in Japanese, right? The whole Final Fantasy VII like weirdness with the word clone. Okay, right. Um, how, like Sephiroth but, is a clone, yeah, but he's not. To so to be okay. clear on this, uh, Shadaloo's Nazi Science Department has been working on making a body that can hold psycho power even better than Bison's. They've been working on this the whole time, right? Right. Okay. Uh, to do this, they mostly just take Bison's DNA and then make very minor changes to it here and there. All right? So okay. We made just a couple <laughs> tweaks. You are we just a banging blonde now. <laughs> we... We thought, right, and that helps with the psycho transfer. And they're like, psycho that's transfer. Not... <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the thing, right? Is that they're just kind of throwing it at the wall and seeing what sticks. And one guy on the team was like, "What if my boss was fucking hot? Like, what if it was? She was just banging, like just so crazy, buff, hot. but in different uh, places." So okay, I would say that these probably do qualify as bison clones because they like aren't getting the DNA from anywhere else. And so sure. they have like little changes. Like CRISPR clones. Right, right. They're CRISPR okay. clones of bison. Fantastic. And I will say there are a lot of these out there. Uh, Cami is the only female one oh. because after some further research, they found that the best possible body to hold evil you know, is a large man, white man. A man's body. It's yeah. a specifically, well, they're always white men. We know. We I could have told them that. <laughs> they didn't have to do any research on that one. CJ would have been a good fit, and too. This oh, is man. I can fit so much dark energy <laughs> in my body. Listen, listen. This, this is why 
I get extra icky vibes from Vega because he knows that Cammy is a clone of her boss, of his boss, and he knows he's that his dude. body, his his boss is supposed to take over her body, and he's still like, but she is pretty hot though. She's, she's even beautiful. even though my weird dictator boss is gonna like inhabit this body of this girl, like yeah. she's still pretty hot though. So Cammy doesn't have amnesia she yeah. just didn't have any memories from before she, she because she didn't, didn't yeah. exist before yep i got gotcha. you oh. all right that's a little double amnesia twist oh. amnesia is a good mechanic and people who <laughs> use it in their storytelling have their finger on the pulse <laughs> of what makes good stories yeah for sure for sure so Ryu is in the process of getting brainwashed by the psycho drive, right? Right. Uh, but I guess Bison is busy with Cammy at this moment or whatever. Okay. Because oh, that busy? high school girl who really liked that's his clone, Siley. Don't be gross. I don't know. You said he's she's hot, so she is hot. <laughs> CJ, <would laughs> is that is that <laughs> masturbation? I <laughs> CJ, would you fuck a cloned version of yourself? Is it a hot woman? Probably. Uh, CJ would. Absolutely, then. What? <laughs> yes, I don't, see, I, I don't like you. it. Okay, we're going to talk about something non icky. This young high school girl who wants to save that Ryu bod. Because she wants to fuck him. She's also a character? <laughs> yes, Sakura. We learned about her last time. Yes. Uh, but she uh, teams up with Ken. Right, but you and- can fight with her? Yeah. No, yeah, she's yeah. a character. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you thought that the high schooler who wanted to bang Ryu <laughs> was not a playable character? No. She she punches stuff. <laughs> she punched oh, stuff. Okay. She's got like martial arts gloves on, but she also wears a schoolgirl outfit. Yes, that is okay. that is her that's her, her that's mo. Her thing. Okay, typical. Okay. Um, <laughs> typical. <laughs> so, uh, Sakura and Ken team up to go save Ryu, mm-hmm. and Sagat helps them out because he joined Shadowloo to like rematch Ryu mm-hmm. not to, to like not watch to him get, get brainwashed his, yeah, yeah. yeah fair enough um so he could have just rematched Ryu like it's, <laughs> it, he, well you can organize these events <laughs> you don't have to or, you don't have to join the, his shadow Hitler group <laughs> to have that happen no no just make it a prize fight or something and to, <laughs> get a contract it's not that hard <laughs> no 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 you got uh, fucking Eagle Raptor to fight whatever the fuck his <laughs> name is. You no, can just do that. Well, listen, listen, you can't just start another world tournament whenever you want. Do we- <laughs> what is this, Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> so Ryu is freed, and he- Free you. He's free you. <laughs> and uh, Bison shows up again. Ryu starts to bite, fight Bison again, but this time he's starting to win. And Bison realizes that Ryu is harnessing the power of the psycho drive. Uh, He's getting flooded with psycho power that is strengthening his Satsui no Hado. Which is what he wanted to do. Which is, but yeah, Bison's like, awesome. This means that you're the guy. You're exactly what I want. I need that Ryu box. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Uh, What about the clone then? (laughs) Uh, no, there's clone, plenty. Clone there's Cammy in the garbage. There's plenty of those. No, but she's so, hot. But she's, yeah. she's pretty hot. You gonna uh, throw hot stuff in the garbage? I am after I'm done eating it. <laughs> oh God. <my> <laughs> so he would totally no, fuck his hot clone. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So. Yes, he's he's observing as he fights for you. He's like, yeah, the, this is working exactly how yeah. I intended it to. Which is, which is bonkers <laughs> considering the thesis statement he came up with to start with. However. <laughs> he's just as right. surprised as anyone's like, oh, wow, all right. This, this worked. I did not see that coming. I, I was just throwing when stuff you, at the you, wall and see what's stuck. When you hit compile on your code and you're like, there's no way, but then it runs. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I don't know how it ran, but it ran. <laughs> okay, okay. nobody right. touched this. It don't, just, Cla- just, classic, don't question it or am I Classic break. developer. <laughs> so, yeah, he's super stoked about this, but Ryu is now really fucking strong and beating the shit out of him. Right, uh, miscalculation. 
So Ryu is able to uh fucking just like punch through his chest and oh. fucking kill Bison. Damn. Oh, Ryu, dang. Ryu beats him and friends leave. Okay, okay. he and friends leave. So okay. They, now, just, they, okay. Yeah. Disperse. So is Cammy also the friend? No. Okay. But I'll get into that because oh. you see, Siley, huh. as long as the psycho drive is fully charged, M. Bison can just regenerate himself with oh. it. Okay. Because uh, why why the fuck not? So All is, right? is it, it's like What's keyed like? to him. Like, yes. Okay. It's and that matters, CJ, because during the confusion, Cammy plugged herself into the psycho drive. And she Why? she used it to release the dolls from their psychic fail safe oh, thingy. Okay. So nice. the the psycho tank has been being used. Yeah, it's and it's, it's being uh, a, a bunch of its energy got used up, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And so Vega helps the dolls escape while Bison regenerates, weaker now because Cammy used up psycho some of the psycho drive juice, right? Vega's helping them now. Vega's helping the hotties. Okay, because they're hot. Yeah, got it. Uh, well, obviously, he's, 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 he's doing the <laughs> oldest play in the book, the try for an eight way. <laughs> eight way battle because eight way battle royale. <laughs> he's a very what strange What do you guys beat. think? <laughs> uh, okay. Comment so below who you think is the hottest street fighter. <laughs> which, hmm. which clone of M. Bison gets you the randiest? <laughs> um, so. Oh <laughs> While all of this is going on, if you recall, Chun Li, Charlie, and Guile have been setting up explosives all over the place. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. as soon as all the other people get out, they set the explosives off, right? Okay. And so it's classic thing where the whole place hasn't exploded, but it's all started on fire and it's coming down, right? Uh -huh. M. Bison has regenerated, but he is weaker now. They put and explosions everywhere but the big room with the, the M. Big, Bison crystal or big, whatever. Well, that room was in use a lot the past sure. hour. Okay, and then... <laughs> That's bananas to me that they're like, well, we don't want to put a bomb in the big central room. There's people in there. <laughs> We're just gonna do it on the outside. We'll do it on the outside. But don't worry, it's all gonna cave in. It's fine. Sure. But Charlie is like, you guys go. I'm gonna stay back and hold off Bison. And the two of them battle to the death as they are consumed by the crumbling base. Oh. Both Charlie and M. Bison are dead. That's the third time Charlie died. So, Chu so Chun Li, Guile, and Charlie escape, and Shadaloo is destroyed. Wait, Charlie Probably. does Charlie escape. Wait, did okay. Charlie die? Can I gotcha, all right. So he gets away. <laughs> he fights to the death as flames consume him and then escapes with the others. Or, or you know, he was escaping. Dies. All along, or, or he died. Either way. So, canonically, or he knew of his binding this multiverse together with his many lives. <laughs> <laughs> the Doctor Strange of, of the Street Fighter universe. Strange canonically, Strange. later on, Charlie is dead, and it's M. Bison's fault, but that's all we know about how for sure he died. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh. So. Charles. That's, leaving to it that <laughs> that's street fighter alpha all right wow, what a, there was no <laughs> when were you punching each other during that how was how was this plot conveyed to wait, i mean the audience? wait when wait it, wait wait Ryu was punching him by yeah, yeah definitely when, there was a fight at the end right, for sure right, when right. I, whenever i say like chun li fought bison but he beats her easily like Q, that you had a fight with at that point, sure. right? You were playing M Bison's campaign, right? Or you were playing Chun Li's campaign, and even though you won, it says, "But then you lost." But then you, lo <laughs> yeah, I love it when they do that. <laughs> um, you won the fight, but you lost the battle. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go over the rest of the series a little faster because if we go over every character who dislikes Bison and whose story revolves around disliking Bison. We're gonna oh. have like a hundred different character lines. Great, but oh, these three are, more episodes. Okay, the, Long yeah, time right. Forever. <laughs> these <laughs> these are all sort of like the main characters of the series, right? Like, yeah. if you've heard of Street Fighter, you probably heard of like Chun Li and Guile and such. Yeah. Um, and honestly, the rest of the stuff is just like shaking my head, crazy but... enough on its own that I don't need to get into like specific characters too much. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, God, yeah. So I would say roughly. Half, yeah, half the characters from any given game are there either because they hate Bison 
or they work for bison, or they were brainwashed by bison, uh-huh. or they are a clone of bison. Okay. Wait, so how many clones do, are we talking about? Seven, I think. Oh or my there's a God? lot. There's a lot of do characters. They, do they all just... use psycho powers? A couple do. Great. Uh, so they did. Great only... job, R and D team. You've got like a ten percent hit rate for the thing I'm trying to do. <laughs> all right, and okay. So only speaking... one of them was hot. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, well, so uh-huh. what you're into. yeah, uh-huh. I mean, one of them was only one of them was a hot piece of ass. Um. It, and what are, the other ones are also females. Big, big buff, yeah, meat. yeah, yeah. Big buffy chunks of meat. Mm. Not females. Not females. No. Okay, so as, only this as one we was. Explained the best body to contain evil is a large white man. A we know this for it's sure. Re, it's Ryu's body <laughs> specifically. It's that one. It does also seem like maybe Ryu's body is really so good. So he's the white Which man. Which he's Japanese. Which is yeah. not white. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of all the people who are like DNA or otherwise part sure. of Bison, Throw it in. remember Rose? The I woman do. he put the good half of his soul into? I do. Yeah. Well, when he dies and the psycho drive is destroyed, his soul goes into her and he controls her body while he brings Shadaloo back together. He is just so... <laughs> He's just a so repressed now, trans man. He just Rose. so desperately wants to put his body into a woman. A woman's body. To do evil. <laughs> just so like any trans person. <laughs> Once I transition oh and God. become my final form, I can enact my acts of evil. evil. This with, is what the right wing believes. With big by the boobs way. and big ass. Hell Once I yeah. have TNA, the wearer will be mine. <laughs> my bottom surgery is complete, and so too is my evil plan. Big lips. Uh, oh, both kinds. Now everyone both will kinds. bow to me yep. because they want to fuck me. <laughs> Okay. That's what Hitler oh, my wanted to do. Hurts. Oh my god. Uh, goodness. <laughs> we support trans people on this channel, by the way. We do, but I'm not sure about but, M. Bison. But don't, but don't do an evil, please. <laughs> please, don't be, please don't be an evil trans. Trans rights are human rights, but God, please use your trans power for good. Don't use it for evil. That's, that's okay. what the right wants. <laughs> okay, oh so... Don't be a bison. Uh, he's he's brought Shadaloo back together, and they've been doing a bunch of this, like making clones for him and such. But he's like, guys, how about let's just do a stopgap one? Make me an exact clone this yeah. time. <laughs> Which, how is that not the first thing you try? <laughs> just like, because you know it's, it'll work. <laughs> So, but he is in Rose's body, so it will be Rose's clone now. Uh, no, 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 they they give him an exact clone of his old body, sure. and he hops over from Rose to that because I think he can just do that. Apparently, uh, okay, apparently. So where apparently. was his crystal, old body? Does his crystal still exist? His big psychic, the psycho drive is destroyed. Oh my god! And so he is weaker now. He is never able to do Shin Bison again. Okay, so the psycho drive is kind of more along the lines of like the One Ring, where it's like if that exists, he can keep doing stuff. But if that gets destroyed, well, it seems like even if it's destroyed, he can still like swap his soul around at will. I don't okay, know. Okay, so his soul is more like the One Ring, and the psycho Wait, drive is more like what? his. Physical physical body. I, do. I don't know. Do they even talk about how he transfers his soul into other people's bodies? Open mouth tongue kissing. <laughs> I, no, so I think he can specifically... they're all hot yeah, bodies. All hot ladies, so this is the only way. Right. <laughs> I think he can specifically do that to Rose because Rose already has half her his soul yeah. in her. Like in the kissing? live action okay. Chun-Li movie, he, he transfers all of his goodness to his pregnant wife's fetus baby and then like yanks it out of her tummy. Yes, and they, she, their, her, their code name is the White Rose. Yes. And also he's Irish in that one. Yeah, that movie was bad. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, yeah. don't luckily, worry about that. Yeah, luckily we're not talking Haven't about the lore of that one. Probably I'm fine. We can watch the Chun-Li <laughs> movie together. We're gonna have to be pretty drunk though. 
Yeah, I mean, um, that sounds like, that sounds pretty good. That's a weekend but plan, yes. for now, I've got so many more Street Fighter all games right, to tell us, you about. Give us the Street Fighter games. All right, okay. all right. So he's got an exact clone of himself, but he's weaker now, right? Yeah. Okay. And he's yeah. like, the only solution, I need that Ryu bod. The final solution. <laughs> yeah. So this, uh, the organization that went down wasn't the one making his clones. Uh, so you can get a little complicated there, but he was like, he was able to pull, Shadaloo is now fully back up and functioning. He was able to pull everything together. It turns out just blowing up one of their bases didn't do all that much. Doesn't destroy an ideology. Right. right. Although I guess getting rid of the psycho drive was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I get it. We'll call it a win. They couldn't have known he was going to astral project into his old GF's body. That's very fair. (laughs) Okay, so he's still on the the Ryu bandwagon. He's like, I need that Ryu bod. And so he decides, you know what? I did a lot of work last time to get Ryu to come to me. What if I just host a world tournament? Okay, now this he's is, doing the world tournament. We I don't it. know. This is giving me so JoJo vibes. This is exactly Again, what JoJo's story goes. They took a lot of influence from JoJo. Oh my uh, goodness. So, the dawn of anime. Indeed. Oh Okay, so you brought up uh, before CJ, and I'm sure anyone who listened to the last episode is thinking to themselves, what about Akuma? Yeah, he's he, a big, yeah, strong guy. Yeah, he's mastered the Satsui no Hara. Why wouldn't Bison want his body? And the answer basically comes down to that Akuma and Bison fucking hate each other. <laughs> they just... They both really have strong personalities. They're both just like... <laughs> completely I'm the best and I fucking hate you. Okay, so it's just more of an ego thing. So what happened is I will never be inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's the worst like you, diss you can give a if, person. If you if you say it with confidence though, you're taking that power back. Right. I would never want to be inside of you. <laughs> I don't want you inside of me anyway. <laughs> okay. So a while back, uh, kissing when when he <laughs> <laughs> a while back, Bison had sought out Akuma when he was, uh, you know, looking for Satsui no Hado people, uh-huh. and this was back when the Psycho Drive was fully op- operational. Right, mm-hmm. and he was able to beat Akuma because something something his soul was so full of Psycho power yeah. that the he, Akuma couldn't explode Bison's soul. Oh. Uh- Oh? Okay, so he tried Wait, so- to use his soul, soul explosion technique, but uh-huh. it didn't work. So Akuma's like, I can explode anyone's soul, <laughs> but every time he tries to do it, it seems to fail this except only, for once. This only happened twice and a third time I haven't mentioned be- because <laughs> what? I've mastered the and, technique. And this, and this one was technique. real yeah. because that other guy was just so very uh, depressed okay. that he's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he was so he couldn't use the soul exploding because his soul is backed up on a hard drive somewhere else. Right. And and so he's like fucking suck. You can't right. even explode my soul. Right. So so in this one, you know, it's it's Shin Bison versus Shin Akuma yeah. and Bison comes out on top and he's like, "You're a little bitch. You suck. You can't even beat me. I don't want your body. <laughs> You're a fucking nerd. I will never be inside of you. <laughs> but you th- loser. <laughs> But then, let's come back to what we were just talking about. He holds a world tournament. Ryu gets all the way to the end, and Bison's like, I'm the final opponent. And then Akuma comes out of nowhere and fucking kills Bison. And he's like, no, I'm the final opponent. Because Akuma (laughs) wants to fight Ryu more, but Bison also wants Wants to to fight fight Ryu Ryu more. more. And so they, yes. They both are craving that tasty slab of man meat. (laughs) <laughs> so that they've both been drooling over since he was a 10 year old yeah perfect oh which if you also remember from last time uh the the fact that akuma shows up at the last second and kills bison and then is the real final boss that was the secret that's the not, shang long thing that's the yeah fake final boss from the other thing they made yeah they made it real in uh, the next game that's ah. so cute. uh 
So, so yeah, Akuma cool. and Bison fucking hate each other okay. because Akuma thinks that Bison is cheating by using a psycho drive and all of this shit. Fair. And Bison thinks that Akuma has no place calling himself the strongest when, <laughs> when he, he isn't can, like, he can't beat this yeah, other guy. Yeah. Right. When he's like, <laughs> if I use the psycho drive and I win, then I'm the strongest. <laughs> Fuck see. you. So they, they mostly don't fight each other kind of just for like principal differences because they're like beating you wouldn't matter it's just the psycho drive and he's like well if you can't beat me with a psycho drive you can't beat me right. and they're both just like <laughs> kicking rocks at each other but they won't fight each other right they're they're just uh, two they're... like petulant children <laughs> no they're more like husband and wife <laughs> but they both really want to get inside of Ryu <laughs> they both they both but really they... want that Ryu I mean Bison wants to get inside him. Akuma just wants to be all over him. Rough him up. I oh, see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> because Akuma wants the most powerful enemy, and even though that would be Bison, <laughs> he no, doesn't he want that. He's that was... cheating, I guess. Are you sure this is not an adult podcast? Uh, no, this podcast <laughs> this is This podcast adult is podcast. for adults, yes. Yeah, okay. You can talk about fucking and stuff if you want. Okay. We do it. Most of the episodes. <laughs> Most episodes. I mean, I've been hearing fucking all the time here. We, we but... talked a lot about how hot Cammy is. Yeah, we did. I mean, we had... <laughs> I don't know. In the first episode, we talked about BDSM Yugi. Yeah, that sounds sure. true. That's true. Yeah, I think we talked about how much we want to fuck Daphne and Velma in the Scooby-Doo episode. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've had some. <laughs> we, we said some things. Franchises steer us the other way with like My Little <laughs> Pony and Magic Treehouse because you can't really talk about fucking that. The ponies? Stuff. Yes. Oh, true. really? <laughs> <laughs> I have a jar at home that begs to differ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. This is what happened when Fran's gone, though. It's true. It's Fran, gonna miss be, you, but there's it's no limiter here. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you okay. just feed into that shit. <laughs> Where, <and> you're like <laughs> those giant buff men fucking each other. I like that. I'm gonna skip Street Fighter Four. Is there anything interesting that happens in Street Fighter Four? Uh, so they also made a bunch of androids that were potential replacement bodies for M Bison. That's dumb. And- <laughs> Is that it? That sucks. <laughs> okay. One of the androids goes rogue and is like, I'm going to be the leader of Shadaloo now instead Kay. of Bison. All right. And also he wants to fight Ryu for reasons I can't remember. But then, he's a Bison clone. But, but then yeah. he hosts another in. World war- Warrior tournament. And rather than like just come to his Shadaloo base because he's reincarnated for like the third time mm-hmm. and say like, okay, guys, it's time to fucking get back in line. He instead joins the tournament <laughs> and is like, I am going to beat you at the end of this tournament. And then everyone will recognize that I am the boss man. Me. Okay, so these endings are all like most... Of them are non-canonical because they're like <laughs> stuff that happens when you win that like campaign or whatever as that fighter. Hmm. Who won the tournament in the last one? Was it Ryu who beat Akuma or Ryu beat Bison or what? And so, Where are we at with those guys? Wait, because they all just like collided at the end there, and then they're just like, and that's over. Wait, it's Akuma was hard fighting to Bison. Say. Great. It's very hard to say. I believe in that one. Uh, it is another thing where like Ryu technically won, but Akuma's goal still really isn't to beat him. It's, it's to, to make lo- him to sub- groom him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> ah. Okay. Does Bison die? Did Akuma Bison, kill him? Yes. Bison died again, and he's get gets and gets a new again. body. Okay. Yeah. It's just another clone body. Boy. Yeah. Okay. Great. So I will say at this inc- at this point he starts to have gray hair because because he's. He's cl- cloning he's, clones. He's cloning, they're cloning clones, and the sy- the psycho drive or the psycho power, I mean, is it's, taking it's, its toll, it's sucking the years from him, sucking yeah. him dry, as um, it were. Mm-hmm. Okay, Fantastic. Um, but um. we're gonna get into Street Fighter Five, <laughs> which yeah. is really, really good. Yeah, okay? okay, all right. Okay. Uh, so if you guys remember, uh, Street Fighter Three is the latest one in the series until Street Fighter Six comes out. Okay. Street Fighter Five is chronologically right before Street Fighter Three. Okay? Okay. okay. So the Obviously, things that happen in Street three. Fighter Five lead up to the Illuminati holding a world tournament to determine who gets to live in Utopia after the end of the world. Right. That was all in Ryu episode. Yeah. 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 And yeah. they lean into that. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shadaloo isn't messing around anymore. Their new plan 
is WMDs. They're oh, making okay. <laughs> the they, greatest they, and tastiest shredded potatoes ever. <laughs> We will spread our. So just anytime she hears it, she can't help herself. Like, yeah, I that's, can't. That's what it says. It's so funny. It's she, just such a funny name. So, right. Because their main goal as an organization is just to spread misery. Yes. But if you kill everybody, how does. I mean, that's like. No, they're not miserable. They're dead. So, what they've done is they have created seven giant satellites called the Black Moons. <laughs> And they are going to have okay. those hover above seven major cities all around the world and only fire seven? electromagnetic waves down at them. Only seven. Which will, only seven. I mean, you know, they can move around. They can do more if they want, whatever. The point not is not- how satellites work. Can't just move around <laughs> wherever you want, but all right. CJ, you sound so stupid you right can't now. can't just hover over one city and then decide, yeah, let's move it. You sound really <laughs> stupid right now, but that's okay. Sure. So- <laughs> the the point is, yeah, these are going to create <laughs> chaos in these cities, right? A bunch of people will die, but more than that, like, a bunch more people are going to be very angry and afraid. That's okay. also a plot for uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, because because they're they they're carving the blood sigils. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. gonna talk. It surely we'll talk about FMA eventually. Surely yeah. we'll do that eventually. I fucking okay. Love Full Metal so me too, Caesar. We should do an episode we'll of do that. An episode yes. So yeah, they are they're doing this just purely to power up M Bison with more anger in the world, right? Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, like. They're having a hard time finding scientists who can make super satellites who are also, who also into this well, yeah. plan. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so Fair. they kidnapped a bunch of scientists oh and God, programmers no. and such. Brainwashed them? And the lead. <laughs> Weirdly, them. no. Oh, well, the oh. psycho drive is gone. <laughs> the psycho drive is gone. Okay. Well, they yeah. probably just paid so them enough. <laughs> the, they, did, they did a kidnap. Okay. And so the lead programmer is able to escape with the activation keys what it, the macguffins you know right the metal gear solid the, the thermal card or whatever ther the thermal magic card yeah. that make the the that, satellites go sure now mm -hmm. if you had the keys to a bunch of doomsday devices where would you send them to be safe ryu to all a bunch of the world's best street fighters yes <laughs> I need to hold a tournament <laughs> to figure out who is the best person to hold the key to humanity. Because if you can't punch and kick real good, you don't deserve this. Uh -huh. So the Shadaloo forces are like trying to hunt down the street fighters who got these keys and they're trying to fight back and figure out how to like stop this all from happening. Because they right? penetrated the American government. Right. So you can't give it to a government. Right, because I mean, they're all corrupt. I wouldn't trust America with it, even if they weren't. <laughs> like, I think I would give it to Guile. I trust Guile. <laughs> I think he's got the right idea. They give they give one to Zangief, and I like that. <laughs> Zangief will hold key to great Russian city states. Oh. Uh. Yes, uh, you have seen Zangief on the wrestling show, yes? I can do suplex <laughs> very is, good. That is straight up, like, uh, if in World War II there was, like, some kind of, like, secret weapon and the device was saved but it could be activated now and the lady was like, I know who could protect this, Andre the Giant. <laughs> oh, I'll keep this safe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a giant. Who's yes. going to take Wait, it What from? are they going to do? <laughs> the Rock definitely has a key to destroy the world. <laughs> Almost certainly. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> this I like concept, this story that I have brought you for Street Fighter V <laughs> is a little over the top, but it's pretty, like, straightforward G.I. Joe movie. Right. Like, the stakes are yeah. being raised. Uh-huh. World yeah. domination's at, mm -hmm. at risk. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, CJ, when Bison's fake moons blot out the sun, this fulfills an ancient Aztec prophecy about the folly of man and awakens the demon Nikali, devourer of warrior souls, what? who sets out to devour Bison and anyone else he deems worthy. What? Yeah. What? what? what, so, what? what? Was, what, T, was T Hawk. <laughs> 
savvy to yeah. this ahead of time. Because if he is, this series is racist. And I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> he was like, hmm, <laughs> white, <laughs> white man fulfill ancient prophecy. <laughs> Blot out the sun with laser satellites that kill, <laughs> kill everyone. <laughs> Who is this dude that is uh, resurrected? Nikali, the ancient Aztec demon and devourer of warrior souls. Not related to Akuma, <laughs> who just named himself demon. demon. Yes. Or Oni, who's just Akuma when he gets when angry. When he's more demon, <laughs> yes. Okay, that's insane. Uh, this one's a real demon. <laughs> this one's a real Not demon. Not the one named demon. Yeah. Got this it. one. So does this demon also join street fighting at some point? I mean, <laughs> so like... he wants to devour warrior souls. So he does just like find people and challenge them to fights in the street. I okay. guess you could call that street fighting. So, so he this is street is, this fighting is street, the street fighter. This is street fighter competing with Mortal Kombat because they're like, <laughs> yeah. I don't like how cartoony this fighting game is. These these silly people are just fighting each other. No one's ripping each other's spines out. Someone's got to have to come along and be an ancient evil demon Let who wants to kill everybody. Let there be an right? demon. Right? <laughs> right, guys? Right, right. Okay, so... <laughs> While that is happening, sure, <laughs> beep. That's the beep. Wait, plot. there's, right. there's that is more. The plot. There's more. Siley, there's do you, more. Do you remember last time when we talked about the Illuminati? Wiggly. <laughs> well, the Illuminati <laughs> had prophesied that a doomsday was going to occur. They do that right. But okay. now there's what appears to be a doomsday happening and they're all internally arguing about if this is the one or not. Oh no, a great <laughs> schism. Every every ideology has this every <laughs> once in a while. So but there I, are But they are the Illuminati. Wouldn't they know that this well, is or Siley, what I mean, was supposed to it's be? A little, the I mean this is or shoot, clearly it's an Aztec prophecy, but is it also an Illuminati prophecy? Is it the same prophecy? <laughs> there, were, did they have the Illuminati in Aztec? Was times? Christ a white man or not? <laughs> Obviously, he <was. laughs> Obviously he was. Obviously he was. Obviously he would have had so, to be. He was the only white person born in Baghdad. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So half of the Illuminati is like, let's let Bison do his thing. And if he let's destroys the whole world, like, all right, I guess we got kickstarted. This version of the Illuminati wants the world to end. They they're, want the world to pro end. They're pro-prophecy. Right, because they ah. they are going to like have an arc-like- New world order, et cetera, new, et cetera. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, but meanwhile, the other half of the Illuminati is like, I don't like how this one is going, but also we can't be seen to directly oppose the other members of Illuminati. So what they do is they oh. use cyborg enhancements to resurrect Charlie Nash. Oh, okay. And so Charlie Nash did die <laughs> at some point. We don't know how, but Charlie Nash did die and it okay. is M. Bison's fault. <laughs> right. And so it. they give him cyborg powers and bring him back to kill Bison. Okay. Okay. Because he did such a good job the first time. And the best part, CJ, <laughs> the absolute best part of this whole plot structure is that Bison beats both of these dudes very easily and they have almost no effect on the plot. Because of course he does. <laughs> he did the first time and he's only stronger now <laughs> from all the space lasers. <laughs> In... In what shows just how very tasteful the Street Fighter team is. So what? They are able to blow up the satellite over New York. And that one does... <laughs> Okay. That, that one does go off. So, okay. I just want you to know, if there were seven satellites uh -huh. orbiting the Earth over in some sort of geosynchronous <laughs> orbit over is the that... different cities, uh -huh. they cannot, by definition... Blot out the sun <laughs> from the Earth's perspective. Well, maybe they did that a little earlier. I'm not a prophesier, CJ. I just read the <laughs> prophecies to you. I just like the idea that there were a bunch of like astrophysicists who are like, huh, an eclipse. 
oh, there's not supposed to be one of those. I wonder <laughs> what that's that one, all about. Is that <laughs> when the Twin Towers fall? Is that what happens? Oh, is that, how, is that the canonical reason for the Twin <laughs> like, Towers falling? There is an uncomfortable parallel oh between... Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Do they have oh to God. get rid of the New York one? Because they're like... <laughs> they did. Well, that's So this came out in 2015, okay. and I guess they felt like enough time had passed. A terrorist attack on New York is like a thing that's... Maybe plausible, but not something we necessarily want to do. I but, feel uncomfortable just like being here in this. Oh, oh my the god! It's the Mario 1993 movie all over again. They they did it though. They did it on New York, mm. and people are oh scared god. and angry. And for now, Bison is like unto a god. Yeah, he is just full. There's so much psycho power all going of, all around. All of the normally okay. completely rash and calm people of New York City have become <laughs> enraged, thus powering him up to god to god Shin Bison. Mm -hmm. God Shin god Bison. Shin Bison. He's he has with very little effort beaten the Aztec prophecy demon oh, so he has making <laughs> that whole thing not matter what yep. happened to Akuma uh, Akuma's just fucking off right <laughs> now Akuma, I guess yeah Akuma doesn't give a fuck about Bison and again and there are because there's a storyline for every fighter there are like 30 other storylines I'm not telling you I, because right. they're Oof. tangentially related but okay. not close enough the fact that all of their stories aren't about these space lasers that are right. blowing up the city is <laughs> bananas I mean there's, so the there's four dude stories who are about like finding out like holy shit I'm a clone of Bison you know <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> but the fight we left off was where Ryu was supposed to fight M. Bison, but then Akuma came along. That was, that was like, forever ago, Siley. Right. That they, one's over. But they no fought. one knows who really won well, or Bison, who really died. Bison died, but he got resurrected. Bison, as he died. Yep, okay, so Akuma killed, Akuma killed Bison in that one, and yeah. then right. Bison came back because he has endless uh Because he, he can just do that. Because he can and, just do that. Right. Which is like... Who cares if your body dies? <laughs> Keep doing that. So yeah, every, I mean, the, the, I guess it's taking its toll. The implication whatever. is it's taking. The doctor says he can only do this one or two more times. As, you as know, many he can only do it as he many times as he needs to for the game. Needs so that Ryu bot, okay? okay? He needs that Ryu bot. Okay, okay yes. so we're back to that. Okay, and he's, he doesn't care about an ancient prophecy he's fulfilling. But he's, he's a god now, right? He's, he has because he, his organization is not the Illuminati. The Illuminati is a Different, different shadow organization <laughs> yeah. doing its own thing. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. His shadow organization has just made their apocalypse start. Right. Yeah. And he, he has both fulfilled the start of the Aztec prophecy and then messed up the end of it by beating that guy instead of getting his soul eaten. Great. All right? Okay. Easy now, to follow? No problems. Ryu... He's been growing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ryu's been growing a lot over all the past games. Fucking you can better. He's yeah. Gonna have to right. Kill some <laughs> demon or God or if, something. Or both. You know, <laughs> if you haven't listened to the last episode, that'll give you a lot more details on Ryu. It's, it but, is, if anything, illuminating Ken's whole deal. Cause at this point, <laughs> I would be like, no thanks. No. I yeah. don't need to be that guy. Yeah. No, I mean, and, and also. Here's, here's just like a fun tidbit for you that I just found out uh, while researching it. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken's wife mm -hmm. has a sister, mm -hmm. and that sister is Guile's wife. And okay. oh. apparently that family is just really into hot buff dudes. Yeah. And like, it just <laughs> kind of, right. It just kind of works <laughs> out for them. And meanwhile, Guile is like, I'm very... Uh, ashamed of my like brother-in-law Ken because he's a bit of a dingus, but uh, <laughs> but it's he's fine. not fighting for the for the, this. He's not world. fighting for America. Yeah, all right. But he grew up in Japan. I mean, for a while in his formative <laughs> years. <laughs> Listen, okay. the point is, he's just You're out there. You're white, Ken. <laughs> you should be fighting for America, a white country. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Oh. It comes down to it. Ryu faces the godlike form of Bison, and he's like, Bison, I've finally figured out what can defeat you. 
Destroyed. Nothing. Oh, he did it. Like the the power of nothing. Right, the, con- he, the his master, his grandmaster's technique. Yeah, yeah. He, he Hadoken's a hole in his chest. Oh. <laughs> but oh, what a nothingness Hadoken. Oh, okay. It's a this is special Hadoken. <laughs> oh, so he launches nothingness in his chest. Yes. Oh. If there was nothing in your chest, you would die. <laughs> in fairness. That so, is correct. <laughs> <laughs> this this is thus far where Bison is done in the series, right? So he's a Although black hole. Although there is also Ghost Bison. There's a <laughs> what now? What he doesn't die? Well, he didn't use the soul exploding one. In fairness, because if he did, there would be no ghost. So you can you you can still choose to play as Bison. You just play as a ghost, a ghost version bison. of Bison. So what what is it? But diff- he's canonically dead. He's canonically dead, but he is canonically a ghost. Also, like this is not like wait, a goof wait. thing. This is like he is a ghost. Okay. He is regularly wait, so fucking th- with his many clones. Is he like a psychic What's ghost up? or just a regular ghost that has psychic powers? Uh? Sure, okay. Wait, but I have, I have a question. So if he could reincarnate because he had like so many cloned bodies and if Ghost version is just his soul being his soul, why can't he put his soul in a, the one of the clones that he has, which are endless apparently? We're going to have to wait until Street Fighter VI oh to God. figure that out ah. because I will, I will tell you this right now and I refuse to explain it to you, okay? So you would think he would go into Rose's body again, right? Because she's still out there. Right. But Rose was fighting the self-proclaimed president of the world named G, and she has foreseen a prophecy from fighting him that he will be the actual destroyer of the world. And also G has like, just appeared in this last game and nobody knows who he is, but he's very magical. And he oh. looks like Abraham Lincoln, but blonde. And he says that he is the president of the world, nay, the universe. The, the wizard. Completely he's, separate from the Illuminati. to the Illuminati <laughs> or the shadow organization <laughs> or Mabison. So exactly. There, there is another organization. So we, probably so his own. In the new game, we could have anything <laughs> from M. Bison still oh matters in some way to because he's a he ghost doesn't now. matter at all because they're just like we're gonna do a new villain. Right. So what we know happens is that Street Fighter Three happens, right? Mm-hmm. And the Illuminati, they are now like. We legitimately don't know if this was the doomsday that was supposed to happen and it got subverted or if the doomsday is still coming. And so Gil, who you remember is the leader of the Illuminati, Uh he's just like, you know what? I'm just going to do a world tournament. We're going to figure this (laughs) out. We have to sort this out. (laughs) And... Oh. That is that is where Street Fighter Six is going to pe- pick up. So M Bison is a ghost. There's a third person who's so magical, no one knows where he came from, but claims to be the president of the entire freaking universe. Uh huh. And Rose, he's, he's known to be on social media. <laughs> He is, he is building his presence on social media, which I guess is how he will become the president of the world, or he already is the president. I don't are you know. Still but talking, are we still got, talking about Elon Musk we, or not? <laughs> and Ryu has mastered the art of the Satsuni Hado. That's the nothingness, nothingness one. That seems to be the case. Okay. That he can't launch onto that is, another people. That he can oh, use to like, kill people who normally can't be killed because the power of nothing kind of trumps any other I, tangible power. I guess. Their soul exists, it's, but into nothing. Okay. And Akuma wants to fight Ryu using his power of nothing, he's right? Good, he's going to probably be kind of pissed that Ryu is using the power of nothing and not the Satsui no Hado. So but Kuma's still we'll waiting see. in the background. And we've, been, we've been getting around this cliffhanger ending because all of the games <laughs> after Street Fighter 3 have occurred chronologically before Street Fighter Correct. 3. Correct. And so... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> This is why we don't do series that don't have definitive endings because what? Wh- 
I mean, <sighs> this is, it's also, like I said, it's just, there's so much retcon going on. Like, when I talked about Street Fighter Alpha, the reason that Charlie Dash died in three separate ways and also lived is because Street Fighter Alpha, while it's a single game, it got remade like four times. There's Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, oh. and they do the same story but change it every time. Oh my god. That's not the same story. Then. <laughs> Change story uh, is change is that, story. <laughs> is that then, Ethan, where this saga of street fighting must end? Yeah, I mean, unless you guys want to talk more about trans fighters, like, <laughs> that's where the story has to Every end. Every trans person is a trans fighter. <laughs> and we are in your corner. That is going to be the end of this episode of The Lore You Know. Thank you guys for hanging in there for all the rounds that this one had to offer. <laughs> what sound does it make when you win the game? It uh in Street Fighter 2, the whatever opponent you're beating goes ooh, 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 ooh. and then some guy says, "You win." <laughs> you win. Okay. You, you guys won cuz you got to listen to this episode. Uh we Which was crazy. Which was crazy. We <laughs> want to thank Gail Storm Kitsune for doing the artwork for the channel. Uh check her out on some social media at Gail Storm Kitsune. Uh also thanks to Apajo for doing the intro and outro music to this podcast. We have way more things we're gonna talk about. Probably not Street Fighter, at least for a while. And those guys are if something crazy comes out for the new Street Fighter. Uh, I mean, we might do some stuff for that. We we're probably gonna we're probably gonna have to wait until they release the new Street Fighter four times. But we, I know that we'll definitely be talking about buff guys tongue kissing oh, yes, other buff absolutely. guys. Absolutely, no matter what <laughs> every series, week, no matter what series we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing that one. Uh, we've been knocking around an idea to do, maybe fill in the in between weeks. This podcast comes out every other week. If you guys want to see some maybe in between week stuff where we do a lot shorter content, but maybe just like some updates on stuff like when the Street Fighter game comes out and we talk about that lore or when the Legend of Zelda comes out and we talk about the new game or just like small news stuff, uh, let us know if you want to see that. That's something we're thinking about doing. Um, but otherwise, uh, check out the rest of our content. We've got a YouTube channel. We've got a, a twitch.tv at Cooking with Spices where we've been playing some really good games. That Redfall <laughs> game, very quality. We're really liking that one. Uh, Ethan's coming out with some new videos soon. We've got some info on that uh, maybe in the next couple episodes. Uh, yeah, I mean, mm. by... I guess not really coincidence, but the next video that we do is probably going to be about the same thing I'm making a video about. Oh, my God. Oh, what, my God. What a not coincidence. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, we got all sorts of stuff in store, so make sure you subscribe and like and tell your friends and rate highly and call your mom and just tell her that you are glad that she gave you life so you could listen to podcasts. Uh, and then the horror when your mom tells you that you're like, a clone that she made <laughs> <laughs> to swap her body or her soul into. <laughs> because she wants to use your misery. And that's why she gave you all those issues to begin with, et cetera, et cetera. Well. Brainwashed since uh, the beginning. Until <laughs> the next time, everybody. I've been CJ. And I've been Ethan. And I've been Siley. And make sure to... Fight for trans rights. And if you want to be inhabiting a woman's body, maybe make a clone of yourself. <laughs> no, please don't be in bison. Make no. a clone of yourself and put yourself in a woman's no, body. No. I That's support enough. that. That's enough so, advice, CJ. <laughs> so Poison was canonically a shemale character, but they didn't like that in America, so hmm. they instead stated that she was a uh, post-op uh, trans woman, and then they like differed on that in states. So in America, she was uh, post-op, and in Japan, she was pre-op, like at the same time, canonically in the same stories. And then they finally said, you know, maybe she can just. <laughs> Maybe she could just be... Maybe she's just she. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, my God. Why are you complicating it? <laughs>